Hello, my precious rosebuds. It is your girl, Rose Thorn, and we are back with more Spyro. Uh, this is the, um, the first one still. We're at the end. Uh, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm trying to see. Aren't I stupid? Um, alright, all you have to do is the final boss. What the hell? Nasty Ganoak. Yeah, this is our last one. Twilight Harbor, we've been there. Let's do this. If I recall, I remember how we, um... It is going to take a few cycles just to get back to how it was. Especially if I accidentally hit a wall. Damn it. Especially if I do that, like, repeatedly. There we go. backwards because clearly we can. Here we go. I was about to say we got it and then I fell. One second. Sorry, I'm trying to be a good friend.
Alright, we have that. Now what you have to do is be smart. I'm saying that. Let me just check with something back here. Alright, we can't go up there. Go figure. I don't want to die. Is me stopping like this? No. Is me not wanting to do that? I just want to check something. Okay. We're just gonna go this way still because it's like an easier run. The hard part of this is running over the narrow pit. I just have to pray I don't fuck up. getting better. I think we have to do this three times, which is just going to be hell. Shit. My control malfunctioning at the worst time is not This part pretty much down good. And as I say that, I instantly fail. Okay, not something I care about. Alright. 
Yeah, I may not catch up, so maybe better just to... Until I really stopped caring for it to get 100% here. Oh. Alright, he went that way. I just don't want to fall. Have me running, not doing the breakneck dash. God, we have to dash and catch up to him. Oh my fucking god. Shit. Oh, this isn't torture. So I have to redo this all over again. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. We ain't doing this anymore. Because I'm not. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna quit game, and we're gonna do something else. This is gonna take me a couple minutes, but... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uninstall this puppy because I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is the most bullshit ever. Chapters delete. Alright, I'm going to pause. This is going to take a bit. Just a fair warning that you're going to see a long pause of this. But uh, we're going to play Spyro 2 because fuck trying to beat that fucking boss with no save point. Because I'm not redoing those chases just to try to beat a boss. I'm not. My brain saw that my heart went, yeah, no, fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright, so we have this. I have this one and uh, three. We're gonna put them all in the same thing, so I'm gonna call this Reto's Rage Start. Uh, cause fuck me, that boss. Fuck that shit. Like, my brain just went, ha, ha, no, thank you. But uh, we are doing this. It's going to take 11 minutes, so uh, there's that. I could literally go grab coffee. And food, because I should eat while this is doing this. So, uh, 
the recording is going to be paused until this is done, and then uh, we'll hop in and start Ripto's Rage. You're going to feel good. I'm going to feel good. And then I have to do things, because uh, cause the world pisses me off. It, The world shows violence. Um, I uh, got yelled at for having dogs after having dogs for nine fucking years. Since living here, since moving here, we had dogs, and we're only getting bitched about it now. Uh, so I have to do random shit that shouldn't have to be done because it was in my lease, and apparently it's not in my lease, which is upsetting me. But, uh, I gotta do what I gotta do. And right now, I'm gonna eat while this is downloading, so, yeah. Alright, here we go with some Ripto's Rage. This is Spyro 2. Fuck beating one. Just fuck it. <laughs> it can go to hell. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I am not sorry. That that was just create a block. New game one. In the world of dragons. rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon, Dragon Shores. Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty North's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! To these orbs and Sorry about that. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! I actually used to play this constantly growing up. Uh, we had this. Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... Beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? <laughs> No, there's nasty New York. Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? Or an Avalar. Hey, dragons! They hate you too, Nork. Ow! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Ripto. Ripto. His name is Ripto, not Nork. <laughs> I missed this game. Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. Alrighty. This is getting... Don't worry, you guys haven't missed much. It literally just loaded me here. Now, Ripto's Rage was a good game of... Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Yep, no problem, my guy. Now, the difference between this one and the first one is the gems did nothing. Uh, like, the gems literally did nothing. 
that's our health. I uh, just wanted to jump by view things. Um, I'll play more the more we go in for right now. We don't really need to go into too much detail. Killing them obviously doesn't give us gems anymore. Like it did in the first one. The gems are considered treasure still. Um, here. Start. Kind of We're in Glimmer, which is a summer forest. This is exactly where it um, puts you when you first start. Uh, our, bur our little fairy is so much better. But killing these don't mean gems, which kind of makes it somewhat easier. It makes it less annoying because you don't freak out if you kill them and you can't remember if you killed them or not. Because they tend to not respawn, as you can see. Um, I'm collecting the coins because, as I said, the coins lead you to buy shit, so it's good to get it. Uh, I'm saying, uh, and I'm a lot, it's because I don't... It's because I want to explain it at the same time I don't. I have a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. This is what I like more, because... That, that means that if you get into trouble... I'll return you to this place. See you around. Yeah, I like this more because we can run past her as much as we want and it will always save. I mean, I don't remember. Um, this is also something else I like because we can just save it whenever we want rather than having to be by a fairy, which was a nice upgrade. A very nice upgrade. Um, okay. There we go. We can't do this yet. There's stuff, mechanics that we learn later on. Basically climbing. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Yep. As you can see. We get taught things like how to swim, all this stuff. Uh, we're gonna wait. We do need to move that bridge, but we can wait for it right now. Hee hee hee, motherfucker. Um. I'm trying to think. Well, when we were younger, we had this game, and we would play. And it was... We used to do the... Because when you're younger, and the, most of the games are one player... So you have to figure out how to share, right? Me, my sister, my cousins. Uh, we shared everything with the same method. We would sit in a line. So it would be sit in a line, oldest to youngest. So of course I was the last one to play. I normally didn't have any lives. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you... 100 gems, we have enough. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. Yeah, Mr. Moneybags is kind of a dick, but, uh... It's fine. So we would play this game it's the same way, no matter what. We would sit in a line and to get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try. Yeah, it's just like. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But we would just sit in a line. 
when we learn to climb, we can come back to those because those require different methods. But we would send a line and play, and every time someone died, another person would take the controller and play until they died. And the method was. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of. Down so I'm glad to so we got our first talisman of Gloomer. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Yep, thank you. We'll go there later. But uh, it was always this whole thing where you would die, pass your control over to the next person, they would play until they die. And some games that mechanic was really, really nice, especially with this where you have save points and you can just stop and wait. And you're not like, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? You just stop, wait, and it's like patience. And the save points would make it so you just go where they got left, left off. Which made it kind of easier because it's like, here you go, this is just something you can do that will keep you alive and going. These little lizards have eaten my- Papa tried to run off the she passed me, uh, yeah sure, why not? One. Nice shooting! Follow me to the next loop. We'll come back for this stuff. We just have to follow him right now. You can spit pretty. Mm. Okay, I know. I wasn't trying to talk to him. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button. Yep, to aim. that's what I've been doing. This gives you... Oh, great. And, uh, with stuff like we would play Super Mario Brothers shit. And that would make doing this harder because... Three. You would literally have to go through and figure out what the fuck to do. We'll come back to these gems in a bit. Let's just keep following Mr. Hopper McHop. Super Mario Brothers, you had to replay the whole level just to. Which made it both easy and hard because if you were paying attention, you could get it easily, but if you weren't, it was the most annoying bullcrap ever. And we would always pay attention, and then we get the one cousin who was like really, really skilled at it. He would get the controller and just like kick ass with it. So instead of having this easy time, you'd have the cousin who literally has already passed 
three, four, five levels before they die, and you're just sitting there struggling getting through one. And no shame, because my cousins were like the most amazing bitches in the world, and I loved them. But it was also like, motherfucking bitch. Okay, I need to fix this so I can see if we get up there, okay. And there we go. Yay! You saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday! Fairy. And there's our first orb from Glomer. Alright, we can go back through. But, uh, yeah. We can't get up there without fly, because, uh, it's too high for us even with our stuff, so we have to wait. But yeah, so we always had the one cousin who would kick ass, so every other game it was like, you play until you die. And then it was like, you have that one cousin who's good at every single game you have. So you just sit there and watch them beating it while you're pouting because you want a turn. And you know you're not going to get a turn and the game's going to be beaten before you get the fucking chance. That was one of my cousins. No shame to my cousin. I loved them. They were really good. And they would realize we wanted to play and then would give up the controller even if they didn't die. They said, here you go. I beat the level. You can play now. And that was always the sweetest freaking gesture from a cousin was when they would go. I know the rule, but let's also do it if someone beats the level so no one's left out, which was always really freaking... Okay, we can't get up here yet. Which is fine. Um, the... It was always nice to have that one good person of the family. Because if you didn't, and you'd play the method of... You play until you die, and you have that one really good cousin who doesn't give a shit, then it's like... Why bother playing with them? And no one, no one likes having that type of cousin in the world. No one does. We don't have, in order to do this quest, we have to talk to him first, so. Yay me, I'm not doing that right now. I'm just doing this. Let me drop, let me drop, thank you. We're not going to get all the gems from here because we need to learn to climb first. But. We can definitely do this. Well, we could actually try to fly there to get those. Alright. Oh, hello, my gems. So this is the one place where I would try to 100% and not because it's something I want to do. It's very for anyone. Okay. Alright. Yep. The goal is to fight all these before time runs out. Uh, Thanks for helping me. No problem. Now if we can cheat the system, we're gonna fucking cheat the system. Excuse me a moment while I see if I can cheat this goddamn system. we can climb in order to get up there because then we get the fly ability from that. So we'll do that when we learn to climb. In the meantime, let's go. This is definitely a comeback type of world game because it teaches you. 
Which is always a good sign. Oh no. And there goes money bags. Oh hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh hi, I'm Spyro. What are you? Some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talismans. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter... You can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? She has a point, Hunter. If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. The autosave is also a nice feature. I will know. But yeah, the auto-saving after each level is also a nice touch, because Summer Forest is sweet. Alright, we're just gonna run around for a little bit. We're not gonna talk to her, we're just gonna go collect these gems. Those, those Jar ones are special because they give us more health. We have a glimmer done. Okay, I think that's all I can get around here. Nope, there's a gem. The goal is we don't know how to swim, how to dive. We can swim. Our character can swim now, but we don't know how to dive yet. So we gotta wait in order to go down there. Which is fine, because... We have another one. Alright, we have 255. Perfect. We're not hurt anyway. Let's go. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There yep. are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Yep. Alright, we got one talisman already. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna look around. Hang on. Yeah, we're gonna go down and get all this stuff down here first. If you see, I'm sure you understand because we need the money in order to learn how to do things. This isn't just like me going like, oh, hey, look, I want 100%. I don't care anymore. I refuse to play Ripto Nasty Ganox level 100 fucking times. Because just, no. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. In order to beat it, so. Alright, we have this. We have idols. We're, we're gonna do idols first, but I wanna get this, cause we're right here. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around. Is... Yep, we know this. We have to pay him money, but we don't have money right now. 
Well, we do, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Mainly because I want to explore and try to collect. Again, we can save anywhere, which is really freaking nice. In order to learn to swim, I have not. Let me find out how much money we need, actually. Uh, uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater. Yep, okay. We can't do that yet anyway, so just whatever. Oh, we can learn how to do our jumps. Hang on. Some of this will give you orbs, so it's kind of good. We're gonna go to Idle Springs next, but right now. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X. Yep. Okay. We're gonna press X to glide. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump. Then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Yeah. This is basically what I was doing. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Got running. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick mm -hmm. when you hover. Okay. All right. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If Thank I you. hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take. I don't know if we can get there from here. We might have to wait. But there is an orb. Uh, no, we cannot. All right, there's an orb up there that we can get to. All right, let's go to Idle Springs. I think after we load up this world, I'm going to call it because I've been recording for a bit and we've been doing good. Minus a few times the camera shut off. <laughs> <laughs> I love these little clips. Uh, those little clips are the most precious things in the world to me. Yeah, we uh, can also learn to swim to come back here, so the minute we get 500 coins we can come back here, learn to swim and quickly do everything underwater that we need to do. But we're going to save it here and call it. Guidebook. We're... Yeah, we're in the right world. Uh, 82, 29. Yeah, we're in the right world. Um, I... This is only world one. There's like several worlds we have to do, like always. And each world has a boss fight. So, uh, there we go. This has been me playing Spyro. Crypto's Rage. <laughs> Which is not something I ever thought I'd touch again. Not because I hated it. I loved it and playing this one was significantly... As you can see, it's already significantly better than playing the other one. Because even in the other one, you did not... It did not autosave when you went to a new world. Which made it a pain in the ass because you had to remember to use a fairy to save... But in this one, it remembers. <laughs> it fucking remembers. So I don't have to. Uh, I can just quit game using this. Um, no, I cannot, apparently. <sighs> but 
But um, having it remember where you are is so much better than having to run back to it. So if it has save points, it has checkpoints with the fairies. It is so much better than one. I think they've changed it in the remaster version. I don't know. I don't have the remaster trilogy to find that out, but I also don't really care to get the remaster trilogy because I like the old school blocky style a lot. It's always been something that I loved when I was originally started playing it. Plus, I play stuff. I literally have the Sly Cooper collection. I play with blocky physics all the time. And this was the type of game that uh, started the whole reflective thing and all this. It was one of those games. It was like the reflections were lovely and all this stuff. Now, if I find someone who has the Crash Bandicoot Remastered Trilogy, I will play that. But the Spyro one, no. I like playing Spyro how it is. Thank you very much. But, uh, we're going to call it here. I uh, love the progress we made. I'm quite pleased with the progress. Uh, I'm sorry that we're ending on a black screen. I don't know. <laughs> kind of too late for this, but all my videos should have a content warning, but um, you can stare at this while I talk. But I'm sorry for not meeting one. I'm honestly not fucking sorry, but I feel bad because I normally beat the games or at least try to. But uh, this has been Spyro. I hope you guys love it. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be Kingdom Hearts. So peace and love. See you guys in the next one. Bye.